Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. StarCraft Remastered, The Queen of Blades, The Kalmorian Combine. Command ship Hyperion orbiting the planet Moria. Let's go! Now the Psy Disruptor has been destroyed, and Kerrigan has regained control of her minions. I fear that she will forget our pact and turn on us. I know what you mean, Phoenix. I'd love to believe that she's on the level. There's a part of me that just knows better. However, I do believe that she's serious about taking out the UED. The only real question left is what happens to us when she wins. If you ask me, she's completely untrustworthy. But so long as she'll help me retake Core Hall, I'll work with her. Shut up, Arcturus. If I wanted your damn opinion, I would have beaten it out of you, in case you forgot. You're the reason she became what she is in the first place. You boys should really learn to play nice with each other. Kerrigan, are your forces ready to assault Korhal as we planned? Nearly. I still need a substantial cache of resources in order to build up my primary hive clusters. I'm wondering if you gentlemen wouldn't mind going on a fuel raid for me. It sounds like you've already got a plan. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that we should pay the Kalmorian Combine a little visit. Moria is one of the largest resource nodes in the sector. If you can bypass their defenses and steal enough resources from them, we'll be able to afford a full-scale assault on Core Hall. It's risky, but I think we can handle it. Phoenix, are you into this? If it matters our chances, I will lead the assault myself. Great. Let's get moving. Do you think they suspect anything, my queen? Of course. They aren't stupid, Duran. They're siding with the evil they know over the evil they don't. They simply don't yet realize what it will cost them. <laughs> I'm evil. They didn't. I, they should. They didn't even need that last part. It's, she's she's bad person. We know. Obtain ten thousand minerals. We're gonna fuel your raid so hard, Carrie, and let's go. Sarah, I want you to infest as many Terran command centers as possible. Once they're infested, we'll be able to use them in our coming assault on Core Hall. It was very nice of them to give us a queen right away. Let's go ahead and lead with the Ultralisks, on the assumption that they'll survive, and then we'll move in with the, uh, the Zerglings separately. Yep, Phoenix taking those hits. Good work, buddy. My unit's like, do, should we get him? Do we, do we wanna? No, there's a factory here. <laughs> they got him, though. Ultralisks lead the charge on this bunker. It is actually full. Okay, and then let's move on up with the rest of our junk. This map is pretty large. I think there's six different Terran factions. I mean, one of them we just destroyed. So there's five Terran factions on the map. And the idea is we want to try to infest all the command centers. Or you can obtain the 10,000 minerals. But, like, who's going to do that when you have the opportunity? I am working alongside my greatest enemy in order to save this sector. Fortune has been whimsical. You sound like a tired old man, Phoenix. Don't let the fact that I am 368 years older than you dull your impression of me, young Raider. I can still, how do you dare say it, throw down with the best of them. I stand corrected. Phoenix, you're so cool. What a cool guy. Let's come on up here. I'm going to clear out this base, too. Hopefully this doesn't just attract a bunch of the red units on top of me. It very well might. But the idea is we clear this out. Zerglings getting smoked. I'm sorry, Zerglings. You didn't deserve to go out that way. I mean, that's actually, no, that's kind of your job. But uh, the idea is we clear this out and we take the base that's up here as well. But meanwhile, we just have to wait for this hatchery. It's just, I, if I'm going to get a second hatchery early, I'd rather just do it in a position where I can uh, have an expansion. So let's just leave Phoenix up here and go ahead and bring a drone up here. Get out of here. The least they could have done was give us some, uh, some shield points on Phoenix, you know? They should have at least done that, because we have no way to heal him or anything. That would have been nice. Okay, so let's throw this down. There we go. So now we have an expansion early on. That's nice. Meanwhile, we still have two Ultralisks. We need at least 10,000 units of crystals to maintain the Hive Clusters. Don't come back with anything less. Where do these guys come from? Oh, is that brown? I think brown up here, they got a bunch of stuff on the high ground, so they may be dropping on us. Weird. 10,000 units of crystals, that's what you say, Kerrigan? That's... 
I mean, sure, that's fine. So it's a little dangerous leaving Phoenix up here alone. We just need to get a few sunken colonies up and then more Zerglings and we'll be fine. But uh, you know, this is very exposed. I'm running a bit of a risk with Phoenix, but I mean, even if he takes hull damage, uh, he'll be fine. He will be absolutely fine. Let's just go in and grab a spawning pool. Never mind, we can't afford it. Let's just keep making... Nah, now we can afford it. But the sooner we can get some... Some more Zerglings out, the, the safer I'll feel. Again, kind of a risky opener here. I'm willing to play the Gambit to, uh... To make this happen, make it go a little bit faster. I don't know if I'm gonna want to go and destroy Brown first, or perhaps Red. Red is in the bottom left. Brown is just above us. And they typically... I'm not sure if the, the AI is in the upper area. It's like blue and orange and white, I think. I'm not sure if they come and attack us early or what. It might just be brown and red that we have to be particularly uh, cognizant of. I'm not sure. But anyway, we're here. We can start harvesting from this area. Little extra money never hurt anybody. Actually, that's not true. If you check, the majority of lottery winners, uh, it's like if you win the lottery, your, your chances of being killed or going bankrupt uh, increase exponentially. So actually, uh, well, that's not really a little bit of money. That's a lot of money. I'm just saying. If I ever won the lottery, it's a nice thought to always think, if I won the lottery, I would do this. I'd go to a lawyer and I'd get a, a financial advisor and I wouldn't tell anybody. Or, or maybe you would tell everybody. I think that's a really terrible choice, though. I don't know. Who wins the lottery? I would hate to live in a state where if you did win the lottery, you had to go public with it. I feel like you're just... Basically, like, you go on TV, you're like, oh, it was me, I... I won the lottery. Just knowing that those words, like, as you're saying that, you're just opening the door to probably getting, uh, getting many, a lot of litigation filed against you at some point in your life. Okay, this is good. We're gonna get a creep colony down here. We're mining it up. I would say we've kind of reached that point where we're relatively safe. We do need to start harvesting gas. For real, though, if I won the lottery, I have no idea what I would do. I would do, you know, it, office space comes to mind. I would do nothing. The thought of just doing literally nothing, what a dream that would be. I will just go ahead and get a spore colony right in the middle here, even though it screws up my pathing. I think it's worth it, because I'm going to expect some wraiths to be obnoxious and attack us from over there. Even though I don't even have an evolution chamber yet, but that's fine. We'll get one. Overlord time, let's go. And then we'll get that evolution chamber. At least one, just so that we can start getting some... So we can start getting some upgrades, but then also spore colonies. And then we'll get more evolution chambers. All will be right with the world. Obviously, enemy tanks will be uh, irritating. We're just going to have to figure out what we're going to want to do. Uh, just a lot of Zerglings and eventually Ultralisks should be all we need to do with tanks. You just have to uh, overwhelm them. The enemy will never attack with so many tanks that it will be hugely problematic. Y usually not. Famous last words, right? But pretty sure that that, that probably won't be an issue. Let's just go ahead and get uh, another sunken colony here. Another spore colony here. Another sunken colony here. I'm gonna spread them out just a little bit so that tank blasts don't kill them. And I don't wanna go overboard with our defenses. We do have the ability though to get hive tech and pretty much all hive upgrades, which is awesome. I hear tanks. It's about what I expected considering I was just talking about this. Okay, he's gone. One tank at a time with no support. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Stop it. Look at that. Look at that sick micro by Jay Barino. Alright, I would like another hatcher. We're gonna put it back here, and then we can set up a couple sunken colonies back here, too. But this is getting annoying. Okay, sunken colony here. Probably gonna need a spore colony, or maybe... No, really just a spore colony here to make sure that we don't get smoked by enemy wraiths that end up coming in cloaked. And then let's get a lair. We can't afford it yet. Let's get let's just get metabolic boost and play it relatively safe and get a, a few zerglings. I just I want to take out an enemy as early as possible. We have our queen ready to go, so we can infest our first command center and then use those infested Terrans. Granted, they're kind of gas heavy for what you're gonna what you know what you're getting out of them. But that's okay. Again, I just want to set up like one or two sunken colonies in the back. I also just want to get two more Evo chambers. So let's do that. Okay, get in there. So we just have to deal with several mini attacks just over and over and over again. This is why we need to get upgrades. The faster you get upgrades as Zerg, typically the better things go. 
we can out upgrade our opponent we'll be in really really good shape I'm actually just surprised that the uh, attacks have not been particularly bad I guess we just started. Now we can get our lair, and then we can start getting plus one everything. Let's get a Hydralist Chamber. Hydralist Chamber? What? A Hydralist Den. It's D. There we go. Okay. Four, five, and then six. Great. Just trying to keep track of what I have hotkeyed. We just, we need more drones here. We've, we've taken a lot to make buildings. We, we, we need to do that. Get out of here, Goliath. What do you think you're doing? Actually, we could send these drones down here. We need more drones. This is saturated enough, to be honest. Okay, B Phoenix up there alone with no other units is actually incredibly dangerous, and I should not leave him up there. He says is he's probably just going to leave him up there. Let's just let the creep spread a little bit more. And let's just oversaturate this gas for now. I'd like to get plus one at least. Yeah, probably just plus one. Then we're just gonna make a bunch of uh, Zerglings, I think, and try to wipe out red. And the reason I'm gonna go for red is because they're kind of isolated down here in the bottom right, and they have a very nice base you can take. Brown is irritating because they have a bunch of stuff on the high ground, and until you have air units, it's just annoying to do, so. Um, Pneumatized Carapace, probably also extremely important. Let's just grab Hydralisk Attack Range. Well, okay, first let's grab Overlords. Hydralisk Attack Range, Pneumatized Carapace, and then we're just going to make Zerglings Hydralisk. We should be able to take out that base down there. I'm not even going to bring the Ultralisks. We're going to leave them here, and we're just going to make a group of Zergling Hydralisks to come on out down here to red. That is my goal. It may or may not work, but I think it should I think it should be fine. There'll, there'll probably be a bunch of sieged up tanks. I don't know. Maybe they don't even start with Siege Mode, to be honest. I don't know. We, we could be so lucky. Okay, Hydralisk attack range. I mean, again, we only have one gas, but I don't know. We'll do what we can with it. Plus one, we'll get both Hydralisk upgrades. Actually, no, we're going to get Pneumatized Carapace is what I said. Speaking of which, let's just throw a couple overlords over here just in case Phoenix ends up needing them or something. Okay, and then let's just start making Zerglings. Actually, let's rally up here because we're going to go and attack this area. Okay, very good. And then I'll make a few more spore colonies just to make sure we aren't exposed to wraiths so that we can leave our base with our hydralisks. So, like, here should be fine. And then here. And then over here. And then, again, that should leave us relatively safe from air attacks. Even if they drop, we've got the ultralisks here that can go take them out. We've also got some cool new ultralisk upgrades. Don't forget about those. Pretty exciting, I guess. I don't know, depending on your definition of excitement. But they can go super fast. That's a good thing. We do gain gas at a pretty steady rate here. I think I can afford another hatchery. And then I'm thinking we saturate this even more. Yeah, the Ultralis definitely could benefit from having those... Uh... Or I'm sorry, the Ultralis could definitely benefit from speed. Okay, wait, I, I overrode a hotkey here. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, good, seven, that's fine. Okay, um, I'm gonna spend my gas on Hydralisks as opposed to getting a Queen's Nest and teching up. I'd much rather be able to move out here. The sooner we can take one of these bases out, the sooner we'll have our own base. Also, we have to be careful not to, uh, not to stockpile too much money. That tank just walked right into us. Not to stockpile too much money, else the mission just ends. <laughs> Which, obviously, we don't want. Let's just grab another sunken colony over here. Right there is fine, as long as we're not walled in. How about that? Okay, Hydralis Den looking good. Now we can spend some tech money here. Antenna as well. And then just more Zerglings while we make this work. Okay, we'll get some overlords. You win, game. You win. But the enemy attack, again, I'm just so used to the mass recall iterations of these maps that are just so ridiculous that I'm just like, no, we got to make sure everything's square. Otherwise, otherwise we'll lose, you know. I don't even think there's enough minerals in this. Eh, maybe. You may be able to just turtle up and get to 10,000 considering how easy this seems at this point. Queen's Nest? No, not quite. I'm just going to make more Hydralisks. We're going to flood them with Hydralisks. We don't have a, a a hive yet, so it's not like we can get a 
It's not like we can get um, to Ultralisks or to Filers anyway. Okay, let's just save. I I've saved before attacking before, and I've never needed to. Okay, here come some Hydralisks. That's good. I just wanted to get Adreno Glands, but now it's- I keep moving the goalpost. Nah, well, I don't know. Maybe we need this upgrade. Uh, maybe we need this other upgrade. Just- just go. Just go and see what happens. How about that? We don't have any spellcasters really available except Queens, which will not make a difference. Let's just get in here. Well, we can bring Phoenix too. I guess why not, you know? Okay, bring the Overlords, because they may cloak these wraiths. They are cloaking the wraiths. Let's go. Okay, as you can imagine, tank's gonna be a problem. Zerglings and Zerglings. A lot of our Zerglings getting roasted, so we just gotta remake those. Hive, you can start now. I give you permission. <laughs> I see it. I think there was a tank up on this high ground or something. Ah, oh, I thought he could make it in there. Okay, let's back up. Let's back up. We're just gonna... We're making more... We're just gonna make more stuff and rally on in here. We, I think we just need more Zerglings now to follow up and flood those, uh... Flood those tanks that are in there. We should be okay. We got roasted by a lot of fire bats. Uh, yeah, let's start plus two of some stuff. Melee attacks. We could start missile attacks soon enough. But again, we'll have a real nice base to take care of, and it's relatively isolated as well, so we should be in great shape. Uh, so yeah, getting this tank and this tank should be the last two major fortified areas here, and then we should be... Ready to go. I'm just gonna wait for the gas. Once we take this second base, we have more gas income, then we can really spiral out of control. But the reason I keep making more and more Zerglings is we need to spend this, these minerals, because we don't have the gas income to keep up with anything. Hydralisks in a little bit of danger. We need Hydralisks. But again, we've done the initial attack here. Um, they're probably rebuilding behind this, so the amount of tanks may be frightening. I guess we could bring these Ultralisks. We don't really need them here, to be honest. Hive is done, so we can also get an Ultralisk Cavern. Granted, I can't really afford one right now. But let's just let's just secure this by bringing the Ultralisks. May, may not be exactly what we need to secure it, but let's just bring them. 2-2 two, two on its way. I like how there's a little there's a little counter here with how many minerals you have mined. How how silly is that? Okay, go, go, go. You guys need to get up there. See lots and lots of sieged tanks. As you can see, a lot of our uh... man, there's so many tanks in these in these bases. Okay, keep these alive. So many tanks! Oh my god. This happened in the, uh, the Assault on Core Hall mission, or whichever one that was, with the, uh... The Terran v Terran one that I hated. The enemy just stacked tanks like crazy. We don't have the gas to make a bunch of frontline defense. That's the, that's the irritating part about this. Like, I don't have the income to make a bunch of mutalisks, but I really, I, I will destroy this base. It's just they have so many tanks that are nestled in the back here, and they're just gonna keep rebuilding them, so. Uh, we will continue rebuilding our forces. We have a ton of minerals. We need more overlords. And in fact, I just, I think I just need more hatcheries so we can slam out units faster. So let's do that. So we've got, uh, so we'll, we'll have six hatcheries here. So you're gonna be eight. You're gonna be nine. I mean, they're not gonna be finished by the time I wanna move out, unfortunately. Uh, plus two will help a lot too, I think, maybe. I don't know. Um, but again, getting this one tank coupled with the ones that are covering it on the low ground apparently is just too much for us. But there's a lot of uh, wraiths as well, so we just gotta make sure we bring enough overlords because we lost a bunch of them. I don't want this to be a disaster. It may be a disaster, though, if we're <laughs> if we're not diligent. We're barely getting attacked, though, which is the weird part. Uh, but there's plenty of minerals here. I could saturate this more. I could transfer some of these drones. We don't need all the ones that are up here on these minerals. How many are even here? Okay, no, that's fine. Could bring Phoenix. Again, it's risky. Could do it. Zerglings and Hydralisks. And these hatcheries are still on their way. We could start plus three, or we go for Ultralisks. 
which we don't really have the income to do. Again, this is where having defilers would be good too, but we don't really have the income to do either of these things. So again, let's just keep building our core force here. If we can break through red and set up this base, then we should be square for the rest of the map to start taking over uh, the other bases. Because as long as we get a second geyser, I'm not concerned about mineral income on this map. And let's make sure we keep the queen close. Okay. What I really want to do is just kill that one tank that's on the high ground. To be honest, that's like all I want to do. So let's just see if we can run some Zerglings up here and do it. Okay, he's dead. We've done it. Let's see if we can lure some of these units back to us and take them out. Okay. Probably have enough stuff now, uh, he says uh, hesitantly. So let's move down towards the command center first and wipe this out. Try to take the command center. It looks like we're being pretty successful. Let's bring the queen in just in case. We don't accidentally destroy this too quickly. Please kill this. Infest? Stop, 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 stop! Okay, almost lost it there. Okay, keep rallying in. If the tanks are gone, we should be able to get rid of the rest of their buildings pretty effectively. But as you can see, they're constantly building out of these uh, production structures. Oh, and uh, look what we've done. It's only one tank. We should be fine. We'll just have to rebuild some of this stuff. There we go. Nice. Okay, and again, we do have this command center. Let's just float it back to our base. I don't know how the next mission works, to be honest. I think we'll have to save right before we complete this map. So that it saves the fact that we infested a certain number of command centers. I think that's what we'll have to do. Okay, I think red... Red is not completely offline, actually. Look at this drone. He's frozen in time. We should just leave him. Let's take this one. And let's just clean up red completely. And again, we're going to focus on getting all of these command centers. We almost didn't get this one. My, my units were a little zealous. A little too zealous. Not sure where the queen went. Where are you, queen? I don't know. But now we have even more... Now we have even more hatcheries. That's great. And then what we can do is transition a bunch of these that we're harvesting over here. I kind of want to leave this guy frozen in time, to be honest. But I won't. Next, I think we go brown. And to do that, we double spire it. We get chitinous plating, we double spire it, and then we just make sure we have some units that can attack on the high ground. Meaning some mutilisks. Okay, more Vespine, we're almost there. There we go. You're floating your way over. Get an extractor. Okay, so now we're just gonna sit here. We're also going to make drones here and zerglings here to remake this defense. Just in case. It's got chitinous plating coming up. We don't really need any of this other stuff. You can just land here. Okay, looking good. And then we're going to rally a boatload of drones over here. There we go. That should do it. Actually, we can make more of them. That's fine, too. Okay, so those will all make their way up here. We don't need this base anymore. We can move Phoenix down here, I suppose. And we definitely need some overlords up here just in case. And then this also we can start harvesting from. So now we got the bottom left. Not going to bother with these clusters. That would be silly. This map is going to take longer than all the other ones, it looks like. I do want to start attacking Brown soon, I think. Which actually means I want to move my army up back into this base. So I think that's what I'll do. I, I need to keep this base defended, but we can leave Phoenix here just in case. But honestly, it doesn't seem like they're really bothering me with me that much. What if we auto-attack in this direction? Which way will they go? They go up. I guess we need to clear all this out anyway, so let's just send the stuff over here. Okay, 
Okay, things getting attacked. More not tanks, okay. Okay, lastly, I think we go ahead and grab the defilers just in case. I think, I mean, we're on the downhill slope of just finishing this very quickly. Now that we have, again, all the income that I think we could possibly desire. It's just staying on top of it all. Okay. Okay. Brown, no longer will you be dropping on me. No longer will you get away with this. I refuse. You will be utterly destroyed. Ultralisk time. Could wait for plus three, I suppose. I guess let's lift this and move it up here just in case. Okay, it's dangerous to leave this so exposed, but I think it's fine. Famous last words. Eh, and Phoenix, let's just leave you up in your little outpost. This is the little Phoenix outpost. That's where you belong, buddy. Okay, we just need consume. We don't need metasynaptic whatever. And then let's just grab two defilers. And again, we're harvesting like crazy here. We got the gas income. We honestly just need uh, overlords. Weird thing to be stuck on now at this point after playing for so long, but that's okay. So we're gonna wait for plus three, wait for ultralisk speed. We can get a few mutalisks out, kind of. Can't really afford them, but should be okay. I have a zero hatch, right? Yeah, okay. Just just checking my hotkeys. Again, I'm, I'm fairly confident they don't attack you down here. And also, the other AIs are not online. We've only been attacked by orange and brown. Red wasn't even attacking us when we took them out. So I think... Again, we're just about there. Consume is still on the way, so we can't do anything with that. Okay, Flyer Carapace. I think... It's just gas will always be in demand. I would take this base, but we'd have trouble defending it from blue if they decided to come and attack us. Okay, consume. Can you dark swarm once? You can. Let's just throw down a save, because I don't really remember what's up here. Okay, it's W right there. And then everybody go. Everybody go. We'll move up with these. You guys get in the swarm, please. What we don't have are our ultralisks in there, which are our heavy hitters under the swarm. Good work, Jay Barino. Okay, and then let's squirm up. We can dark swarm again. No, we can't. I could consume, but it doesn't matter. It looks like we've pretty much done it. Okay, move on in. You know what we don't have, though, is a queen, because apparently mine is just gone forever. I don't... I must have gotten picked up by a missile turret or something. I'm not crazy, right? We we had we had a queen. She's just gone. Well, let's just wipe out the rest of brown while we're on this. We can take this base as well and then move on to orange or white, whichever one is further up in this direction. Stockpiling some money, but we have all the money that we could dream of. Not gonna get plague. Hate plague. Hate it. There aren't tanks hitting us from the high ground here, right? Yeah, so see, you can see the... This stuff is hitting us from the high ground because they're jerks. Where's that queen that I made? Oh, God. She should be right here. Here we go. Hop on in here. You guys stop attacking that. It's not quite in the, uh... Can-be-infested range, I don't think. No. Okay, you guys hit this. I think the queen will automatically go in if she's close, yeah. There we go. Infested. Let's go ahead and keep cleaning this. <laughs> he says something goofy every time you destroy an enemy base. I'm thinking we're on track to, to finish this before... We hit 10,000. I don't even think, I, again, I don't think we're even in an, in the position to harvest 10,000 with what we've got. But let's just go in and take this base, because why not? Got our second infested command center. There's stuff on the high ground we'll destroy with mutalisks or maybe guardians. We don't really have the gas to do that. This is almost completely, completely uh, depleted. 
But the reason I'm going to do this is because there's stuff up here. Or maybe they transported it all down. There we go. Just getting rid of this so that they don't bother us in the future. We can make a few of these into guardians as well. There's one starport. All right, let's turn as many of these into guardians that we can afford. And I'd like to just start moving into the next area as soon as possible. So I just want to make a lot of zerglings because we can afford them. I think orange is the next one up, like right up in this next area. We actually need overlords. We can make them here. Because my other hatcheries are all busy building. There's another... Oh, no, this is orange. I thought I saw brown. Okay, so orange is right here. We're definitely going to do them next. Let's just wait for the uh, the Zerglings to make their way up. Are you stuck? How did you get in here? How did this happen? I am so confused. How, how does something like that happen? Hmm. Okay, well, let's get to transport. Honestly, it's not worth leaving an Ultralisk back there. So we've been struggling with money this whole time anyway. Okay, so let's uh, move on up, drop a Dark Swarm, and go and attack. Dark Swarm lasts forever, so you can squirm your way up and drop it, and then easily take your time and walk back. Okay, that should do it. Zerglings rush in. I don't expect this enemy to give me much trouble either. Let's just make guardians, more guardians. I don't even have to look, because I'm very confident that this is going fine. Okay, and let's make sure we bring our queen up. No, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop attacking that building, stop it. Okay, we got it. Constantly in danger of doing that. Orange is gone. We're just going to sweep right into the rest. Sweep right into the rest. Okay, we still have the queen. That's good. We're bringing... And then we have a, a bunch of uh, guardians now, too. So they're going to help us just push through. I think it's just white. It's blue and white. We can pick which one we want to go into. I think white is the most challenging. So we'll probably go for them next. But again, we've got that, that fatty composition. We're not even maxed out, but I think, you know, we've got more than enough stuff at this point. So we just make more Hydralisks in case there are battle cruisers, which there probably will be. And then another group of Ultralisks, not enough gas. Okay. Okay, I guess white has some stuff up here. Weird. Uh, let's just go for blue next, I think. Is there even a way for us to get up here? I'm not sure. Getting plus three flyer would be nice. Again, I'm, I'm honestly struggling just to get fully maxed out in this situation, so... That's good news. That means that we're, we're spending our money and we're attacking as frequently as we need to. Okay, do a little poof right here. Poof! And then go and attack. Bring the guardians with you. Cloaked Wraiths, I mean, we'll bring some Overlords, but Cloaked Wraiths aren't going to do so much damage that we're going to have to be really diligent about it. We've got our Queen in here. Again, I think we've got the composition necessary to just to just auto-attack right now, but we'll be a little, uh, a little cognizant of it. Overlords, make sure you stay near the Wraiths that are giving us problems. Guardians, I need you to hit these instead. Consume something. Consume something, please. Okay. Lots of tanks in this base. Okay. We've managed to, I think, get through this base no problem. Well, we lost a lot of stuff, but for the most part, it was no problem. So we'll rally up with Zerglings, as I have mentioned. And some Ultralisks, sure. It seems like Guardians were the right choice to get through this base. Let's see if we can kill this Science Vessel without it irradiating us. Well, no, but we did get hit by some uh, some mines. Got the overlords. Oh, stop attacking that. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I keep forgetting about this. I think my queen is dead. Pretty certain that the queen is dead at this point. We need to make a new queen. Queen! Hatchery. Just make two queens rally him up here. 
Okay, it's burning. Hopefully we can get up here in time. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, 268. We should have no problem. Just keep these guys back. Just gotta wait for these. And with our spare supply, we'll probably be making... Come on now. I will probably, with my spare supply, I'll probably just making Hydralisk, because I think white focuses on air attacks specifically. All right, you guys get up here, infest this. And again, we want to make sure we save right before the end of this, because I don't think you can select the next mission from the main command center, or the, command, the main menu, uh, with it retaining your infested command center gets. Okay, looking good. Oh dear. Okay, meanwhile, let's just go ahead and finish this up because they're still building out of these starports. And then lastly, we're going to rally here, and it's just going to be Hydralisks. Because again, I, do, I don't expect as many tanks. I think, I think there's some, some tanks on the high ground, which is annoying, but for the most part, I think we've just, again, we've got this. It's done. Let's make some Infested Terrans. We, we haven't had the gas this whole map to do it anyway. We're, you know what? We're going to have a lot of fun with Infested Terrans next time, so I'm not as concerned. Okay, blue is pretty much gone. I don't think... Yeah, I never got plus three. That's fine. We didn't need it. Well, whatever blue's doing, they're probably supply blocked at this point, so that's fine. I mean, at least we're making a couple. They will kill our own stuff, though, so we have to be careful. We could Dark Swarm and run them in to do damage. That could be pretty neat. Let's try it, if we can get these units through, because everything's being blocked. Six, yeah, 600 minerals means we're, n we're not going to meet the mineral quota. We could, but we won't. So, like, do this, and then where where is he? Nice. Oh, well, na that's not good. That's not as good. <laughs> okay. Let's just start the roll. Consume some stuff. I didn't think that getting into this base would be as easy as this appears to be. I thought there was a smaller area to do it. Dark Swarm here. With our limited number of Hydralisks, we need to be able to do... We need to be make as much use out of this as possible. Okay, so just go and attack. You know, send these guys in too, even though they'll kill our own units. <laughs> it's fine. We have stuff spread all over this map. Just send them in. Just send them all in. We just have to kill the battle cruisers, and we have to kill the tanks. And it looks like we're being fairly successful with both. No, no, no. Just Des destroy them. Okay, never mind. Don't destroy them. It's fine. I didn't want you to anyway. It was a joke. Uh, queens. I made them. I didn't hotkey them. Here's one. Okay, you were hotkeyed. I was going to say, the, the tank positioning is tough to deal with, but it looks like even my auto attack, I didn't even have to snipe them with guardians and we're fine. Okay, queen, why don't you move on in? We're ready to take this one, and the mission should end. We don't actually have to collect all the minerals as long as you get all of the command centers, because it's implied that you will win. Okay, very good. It's a longer map, but we did it. It's it's a very classic destroy everything kind of map. it just gives you the money, which is nice because we were below a thousand resources for most of that map. Okay, it went fine. We did great, except that first red base. Probably should go for brown first. It, brown was way more vulnerable and had barely any tanks, whereas red seems like one of the AIs that you're supposed to leave until the end. White, or blue and red seem like the white, blue, and red you're supposed to leave alone. Brown and orange I think you're meant to take on early. Either way, destroyed them. We're doing great. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.